Hey guys, it's General Heed here. How's everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we're going to be tackling the question of can you prevent the Seraph on Mission Long Night of Silas at the beginning from crashing into the launch facility? So, you probably have noticed it's a very big moment actually <laughs> on this mission, but near the beginning, as you approach the launch facility, after you cross a certain point, you actually hit a trigger for this, a Seraph will spawn and it will fly and crash into the building. Uh, apparently, I, lore wise, it gets you know shot by one of the turrets, and thus you know loses control and crashes into the building and creates a big hole there in the side. But can we stop it from crashing? Can we either save the building or save the Seraph or both? Well, I tried a few things to do that. So the one thing I tried to prevent the Seraph from crashing the building was to try to destroy it. So I I wanted to test the theory of whether you could maybe destroy the Seraph somehow. So I made this weapon uh, instant kill, and well not instant kill, but I made it do like super high damage where pretty much anything it hits is instant kill. It does like a million, couple million points of damage actually per bullet. So as you can see, right off the bat, when I try to shoot the regular Seraphs, n not the one that crashes, but all the other ones that fly around, I can take out their shields, but I cannot destroy them for some reason. And that is because these Seraphs, all the Seraphs at this part of the mission, are actually invincible like they are actually scripted to be invincible okay so we can't destroy those seraphs even with like super high amounts of damage and unfortunately that means we can't also destroy this seraph as well the one that crashes so that you know that's out so what else can we do well using the same uh, a similar model my assault rifle I made a shoot ra rapid fire um, plasma pistol shots like charged plasma bolts so I each shot will EMP the uh, Seraph. And I also made the uh, plasma pistol bolts like super high velocity to a point where it's like almost like a hit scan plasma pistol <laughs> uh, with like unlimited range. Uh, but anyways, so as you can see, that at least works on the other Seraphs. E even from like a distance, I can hit them pretty accurately and pretty easily and they all get EMP'd right away and just, you know, fall out of the sky and crash. So, okay, so that, that works on those Seraphs. And, um... They, uh, you, you can see that like, some of them actually like, crash inside the map too. So, with this, with this kind of method, uh, it, if it works on the main Seraph, it would be feasible actually, because you could use a plasma pistol. And if you time it just right, you need like perfect pre-fire and everything without mods. But unfortunately, when I tried it, you know, with this modded weapon, it, um, it didn't work. And I tried it several times just in case I missed for some reason. But it's really hard to miss with this kind of modded weapon. And yeah, so. It, that, that didn't work for some reason. I couldn't EMP that Seraph that crashes. I, I don't know what was going on there. So, the last thing I tried, I decided to cheat a little bit and mod the Seraphs themselves, as well as the weapon. I took away what made them invincible. So, now all the Seraphs are actually destructible, even without a modded weapon. But, just to save time and make it easier for me, I did I did keep the uh, high damage assault rifle. So, as you can see, just I can pretty much instantly blow up any Seraph that flies at me. So, now that we can actually destroy the Seraphs uh, without needing to EMP them or anything, let's actually try it on the one that crashes and see what happens. So, here's where it spawns. And I, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not missing. I shouldn't be because it, it's not really that hard to hit with like a, almost a hit scan, unlimited range uh, weapon here. But, yeah, so that Seraph that crashes it's definitely unique. It, I can't even, um, I can't even destroy it. I can't EMP it. Nothing. So what is going on there then? Why is it doing that? Well, unfortunately, the answer to the question of whether you can prevent the Seraph from crashing into the launch facility is no, you can't. But why can't we? Why can't we destroy that Seraph? Why can't we EMP it? Well, to figure this out, we're going to. Um, take a look at exactly what's going on here and I'll be explaining what's going on above the hood <laughs> in gameplay and what's going on under the hood as well. So clearly I went on the 360 version just because it has a more functional theater mode compared to the PC version at the moment uh, but as you saw there my shots are definitely not like missing. Um, when it hits a Seraph you can definitely see like the impact on the Seraph shields and everything so it's you know that that's how it works on other Seraphs. But what about on the main Seraph that crashes? Well, I don't think I was missing, but I checked in theater mode just to be sure. So it's really hard to tell, but um, the shots are definitely 
making it. They are definitely like hitting, uh, quote unquote, hitting the Seraph. But I'm pretty sure they're actually going through the Seraph because it seems like back there it passed through the Seraph and hit the other Seraph behind it, which did stun that Seraph. As you can see, it crashed and it's like flipping around now. But it did not, you know, do anything to the main Seraph. Uh, I actually can't tell if it went through or not, but it's uh, the shots definitely aren't doing anything to it. I'm not even sure that Seraph is solid, to be honest. But yeah, so that that's that's what's going on there. So what's going on under the hood? So let's start from the beginning. When you get to the part where it triggers the Seraph, it spawns in over there. That's its initial spawn. That is, that is the Seraph that will eventually crash into the wall there. So in the script, and this part is actually very heavily scripted and on rails, like literally on rails. And I'll explain what that means in a second. But so that Seraph spawns there. And then, like a split second after it spawns, it teleports to this position here in the sky. At this point, so when it first spawns, an AI is placed into it. When it gets teleported here, it gets attached to an invisible device that hooks onto it, latches on, and then it activates the Seraph. And then it moves the Seraph over here to this position. It actually moves the device. The device drags the Seraph with it. And then from here, the device, the Seraph is just, you know, on by itself, but the device is pulling the Seraph along, like on rails, literally. The Seraph is not flying on its own power. It's being pulled by the invisible device. And as it approaches here, well, first of all, this wall here is actually um, considered like destructible and it's scripted to get destroyed. But when it gets close enough, the device actually detaches the Seraph and just flings it or tosses it into the wall here. Now, once it gets here, I, I don't know exactly when it gets detached, but when the Seraph gets to a certain point after it's detached and gets, you know, tossed, the uh, the tossed Scarab, uh, not Scarab, Seraph, <laughs> my bad, uh, will get despawned, the wall gets despawned too, and then an explosion effect is created. So it, it's all faked and on rails and heavily scripted. It's not like an actual explosion from the Seraph crashing. It's all just an effect generated. And the Seraph itself, it, it's um, you know, it's on rails the entire time, and it's you know, con entirely scripted animation essentially. So that is why you can't you know EMP it or script or shoot it out of the sky or anything. It's all like in the middle of an animation being controlled by an invisible device. So that is basically how the whole sequence works, and why you can't prevent it from crashing because it is completely you know <laughs> scripted to crash. But anyways, unfortunately, you know, we couldn't stop it. But hopefully you guys enjoyed this video nonetheless and found it to be interesting. And as always, if you did, make sure to leave a like. Uh, leave your thoughts in the comments. Anything else you want me to check out or look into, just let me know. But other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.